climate change is something that we track very closely here at Weon. Severe weather over the last few days has taken a toll on southern Brazil, flooding homes, swelling rivers and claiming lives of nearly two dozen people. Yeah, Shivirandi said authorities urged residents to practice caution as more floods were expected in the region. Now, the governor of Rio Grande do Sul said it was the state's worst ever weather disaster and added that the death toll was the state's highest due to an extra tropical cyclone in Mukum, a town of 5,000 people. Hundreds had to be rescued from their rooftops as 85% of the town was flooded. The state governor confirmed 15 more deaths, bringing the death toll to at least 21. Take a look at these visuals. Todos os esforços que a gente tem lá, dezenas de homens, as forças de segurança, o corpo de bombeiros, a nossa brigada militar atuando, se esforçando, né? Centenas de pessoas foram salvas, centenas de pessoas foram resgatadas, mas infelizmente eu recebo a informação agora de 15 corpos localizados no município de Mussum. Isso nos causa imensa dor e que faz elevar uh, o número de mortes de 6 para 21 mortes. Now, more than 300 millimeters, which is about 11 inches of rain, hit the state in less than 24 hours. The torrential rain then triggered severe floods and landslides in the region. And in an effort to save stranded residents, the rescue workers have been using helicopters to reach areas cut off by flooding. Now, many factors contribute to flooding, but a warming atmosphere caused by climate change makes extreme rainfall far more likely. In February, at least 40 people were killed in flooding and landslides in Brazil's Sao Paulo state. While last year, at least 100 people died as torrential rain triggered landslides and torrents of mud near the city of Recife in the country's northeast. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>